Hello everyone, and me how. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign playing in Old World Blues as the She. So, like normal, custom game rules, just pretty much default. Nothing, no one's getting buffs, no one's getting anything, and nothing too special, especially down here. Anyways, no historical AI, and let us begin. So, as you can tell from the map, we are using the Sweet Home California sub-mod for Old World Blues, so we're using that mod, Old World Blues, player-led peace conferences, colored buttons, and colored events in this campaign. Look at that dragon, it's very nice. So, before we get too far, on screen right now, there should be a little list popping up. So, this is something new. At the time of this recording, I have a poll on my Discord server asking you guys what, out of all these countries and games I should play, which one will be the first one I play in June of 2020? Whichever one of these wins, which or whichever one of these gets the most votes, I will choose to play as at the beginning of June in 2020. But, so, if you haven't already, check out my Discord server. Link is in the description below, the first thing. And go ahead and vote on my server. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the She. So, let's see. If you don't know anything about the She, they are advanced. And also, I want you to know right now, this is one of the times I'm going to be playing as a She on my channel. I am planning much later on another campaign as the She because, well, there's also another focus tree, I think, for the She in the mod compilation that we're not using right now. So I do want to check out that tree eventually. But the She are advanced. They have five research slots. I'm going to go with Asymmetric Warfare because we are Chinese. We are playing in Chinatown, San Francisco. And what's better than the Chinese people in San Francisco taking over the wastes using Asymmetric Warfare? Conventional Warfare doesn't work. Asymmetrical Warfare? Oh, yeah. And like normal... Civilian workshops, sure, why not? So, a national focus, the Great War. When the Great War began, the Shi Huang Ti nuclear capable submarine launched several intercontinental nuclear missiles across the western coast of the US before being struck by mines laid by the US. Knowing that it would be unable to return to friendly ports, it was forced to beach itself on the outskirts of San Francisco, where the crew of the submarine quickly began establishing a small base of operations. Absolutely. So, we have, oh, 10 divisions, that's pretty good. Wow, we got some Emperor's Guards. Holy cow. Oh, 16 combat with. That's not bad. Sometimes you start with these guys as 10 combat with. That's pretty good. Now, our infantry are 10 combat with, which is fine. You know, they can hold the line. But I've already come to the conclusion of which type of unit we're going to use. So, we're using Liu Tian. Less defense, more attack. Oh, he's skilled. Yes, yes. I love skilled generals. Love them so much. And we will also probably get inspirational. Yes. So, like I was trying to say, let's do this. We could use our submarine defense force. We could even get some Emperor's Guards. But early game, I think, if we're going to play as China, basically, a small Chinese community with limited manpower currently, I think it's time we should use a few Roboto Boys, which should save a little bit, at least, on manpower. So, Robots. We're going to get three first. Three more Robots. We're going to need some Tribal Scout kits. We're going to need some... Type 17 pistols and support equipment. And eventually some anti-tank as well. That'll be very important right now. Let's see. We got a lot of the same stuff here. The bigger the number, the higher the number, the more damage it probably does. So no. No. See, numbers are big. So Oh, wait. Can canoe. Longboat. Uh, I don't think we want canoes. We want this. So it looks like the same number. Cool. Uh, we'll choose that. And we shall choose this. And San Francisco's a level 5 naval base. Very nice. And eh, that looks pretty good. We'll do that, we'll do that. You guys come up there. Looking awesome. Two right there. Before we forget and move on, we have three light cruisers, which. No, one light cruiser and two destroyers. Too bad there's no subs in here. And we need a general name, Lao Peng. Cool. Train. And before we set off, we're going to go ahead and do this. My goal is to take out the Hubologists, which is this country right here. By the end of the episode, wow, he's got a scary mask. The Cultists. Well, it's time to begin the campaign. Disable the backstory and basically wait for the focus to get done. And here we go. So the Great War. Upon beaching the submarine within the San Francisco Bay, the sailors of the Shi Huang Ti quickly began making preparations for their long-term survival. The captain of the submarine decided that the main goal for the Chinese sailors to ensure their survival would be to... Let's see, Bring attempt to bring together the remnants of the Chinese Navy. Okay, 
Secure so Chinese weapon stashes, which looks pretty good, but like I said, I want to use robots quite a bit. And focus on scientific research. Now, I like scientific research, but we're already advanced. We have five research slots, so I think we're doing pretty well. Let's go with attempt to bring together the remnants of the Chinese Navy. We get some manpower and some resources. Also, our current national spirit is People's Liberation Army Air Force. If you want to read that, go right ahead. Got some good buffs, got some debuffs. We get some more daily air XP gain, which is kind of different, which is kind of cool, too. And get better air range. Chinatown. The first few years of the Xi was one of struggle and dissent as the Chinese sailors attempting to ensure their dominance in the region. Very cool. Also, since we're here... Oh, wait. Oh, you guys are already trained up, so... And that's okay. We just need to really focus on robots. Lots of robots. So, as the years went on, and the radiation levels around the city lowered the sailors of the Shi Huang Ti, departed their love, beloved submarine, and began making way into the outskirts of the city of San Francisco, and discovered the remnants of Chinatown, where they believed they could start anew. With the sailors now aided by hundreds of Chinese citizens, they began rebuilding Chinatown to its true potential. The first goal of rebuilding Chinatown was to rebuild the military in industry, civilian industry, or infrastructure. That's cool. Actually, currently San Francisco has five, so we get more resources. But I'm going to go with military industry just so that we can build ourselves up a little more quickly, hopefully. And the rise of the Xi. With the Chinese remnants situation stabilized, or stabilized, Within Chinatown, they slowly began forming their own form of culture and became known as the Xi to the locals of San Francisco. As the decades went on, the influence and power of the Xi grew until they came to control the entirety of San Francisco. But, with the arrival of the Brotherhood of Steel on the Xi's border, the Xi knew they would have to gain a technological edge above their enemies, and as such, they began to a project to produce something muy bueno. Oh, look at that, even more. Yes, 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 yes. Almost a little more than two a week. Very nice, very nice. We need a lot. So, so with the Chinese remnant situation stabilized, we basically already read this. Now, under our control, she had time to invest in firearm production lines, which looks pretty good for infantry equipment. Enhanced power armor production, so we get more special forces equipment production, which looks good. Or reprogramming pre-war robots. Now, we could grab Mr. Handy's, and that would be in an immediate uh, technology, I guess you could say. We could get them eventually, but comparing protectrons or commercial protectrons to our Mr. Handys right now, the main difference is that these are just slightly cheaper to build. They use and slightly use more cell usages. Well, I can't speak. And they're a little faster. Honestly, the upgrade isn't that much worth it, especially if they use two more energy to build. So, yeah, I'm probably just going to go with our pride because we need guns to put down potential civilians. You know, just Chinese things. Anyway, so. I'm going to immediately, we could go with rebuilding the Xi Guard. I'm going to go with this way so we can go to war early. So, the ongoing power struggle. Within the Xi government lies a great power struggle between those loyal to the Emperor and that of Jing Tai Gang, the head of the Xi Research Department. The Emperor, who rules via his spokesman, Ken Li, believes the Xi must maintain their independence to survive while Jing believes that it's to ensure the survival of the Xi and to ensure the wasteland. Well, Prosper is to open ties with the Brotherhood of Steel. This crisis is reaching a boiling point which has led to a referendum being called within San Francisco, or San San Francisco, to decide who shall lead the Xi. We get political power from that. So, basically, we can look at this as time goes on. We can choose to stay with the Emperor, which looks cool. We get Mandate from Heaven, which looks a little familiar. Bolster our forces, repair the Emperor's data. Oh, stores, research slot, lose research speed, that's okay. Uh, oh, that's a lot of war support. Chinese culture. Unity within our realm, more output, make the Emperor self-aware, more stability, research speed, and the Eternal Emperor, which gets more stability and good stuff. And we go with that, or the advisor, we both get going to war with the tankers, vagrants, hobologists, get a core on uh, Concord, as well as San Rafael. Now there's the advisor path, which is basically the elite or oligarchy path, we consolidate power, reveal the Emperor's true identity, revive the Red Menace, ooh, that looks like fun, Prepare for the War of Steel against the Brotherhood of Steel. Revive pre-war jingoism, which looks pretty good. And our greatest threat. Looks, and we'll talk about the intellectual once we get our next research thingy going. Like that. Okay, and the last side is where we, we become the intellectual. Uh, to deal with the traditionalists. Restore she vagrant relations. Vagrants no more. We just straight up annex them of the vagrants. We get research slots. Request Brotherhood scribes. We deal with the cultists and basically core concord, which is the same thing, like, literally here. And then we can get brother cooperation with the Brotherhood of Steel. We can mimic their training standards. And then we get the Xi chapter. We can become a Brotherhood chapter, which is 
one of the ways you can go in vanilla Holy for Old World Blues, you can also choose that when you play as in the mod compilation, I think. So, that's okay. I'm really not feeling that way, though. Not this campaign. Maybe some other campaign I will, but not yet. We're definitely going to wait. Ah, good. Anything else here? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and prioritize uh, consumer technology so we get more weekly stability. I want as much stability as possible. We only get 0.92 political power a day. And if you know me, I love PP. Political power. Getting more of it is usually my goal. But we have an ongoing power struggle, and I think we need to be traditional and honor the Emperor. So, the Emperor is the only true leader of the Xi, and has led us since the creation of our state. Oopsie. And we'll continue to do so until the end of time. So, and look at that. We already have one air XP. Hopefully by the time we go to war with these guys, we will have maybe a Roboto out. How much more robots do we need? 400 some? That's not bad. Even if we don't have all the robots, we have 10 divisions. That's quite a bit of divisions for uh, going to war. Oh, Blackfoot Tribe declared one in the Western Apache. Uh, good. Phoenix Republic. Let's see. Red Sun Republic. Very cool. Very, very cool. Old Vegas Tribes. I love... Sweet Home California mod, because it just shatters the NCR. The Shady Sands Republic is still here, but you also have, let's see, was it Blackfoot? I think it's Blackfoot is the one that is basically the remnants of the Legion. Ah, look at that, Canyon Runner. We have Hualapi, Flagstaff, Sky Reavers, and Boomers, and the Boomers are looking pretty... Oh, hello. Ashla, Tien? Tien. I don't like the cons, but that's okay. Ah, reference manuals. So, with this campaign, we are going to get a lot of, uh... A lot of speed. We're going to research a lot of things, which is kind of interesting. Hopefully the Sky Reavers lose. That'd be kind of cool to see them win. Do I guess the Desert Rangers don't exist in this timeline. But for right now, let us we could lower this. But I'm thinking... We already have three. Let's go ahead and grab... Not, eh, that might not be bad. Conventional warfare. We're not going with conventional warfare. So we're going to get Gao Q for more daily army XP. And then we'll grab that stuff down south. Is there anything else? Washington Brotherhood's looking pretty normal. We're doing pretty normal as well. We have point nine four. Mexico look, looks pretty normal for Sweet Home California. And Pickles Holy Troll War and Carcass Walker is pretty normal stuff. Cult of Roswell. Someday I will play as Fort Summers because Fort Summers, after, besides having an amazing flag and led by Jupiter Command, actually has its own research slot. A research tree? No. Focus tree. Focus tree. That F word. Focus. 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 Which looks really, really cool. So, someday, I will. But today's not that day. And next we shall do gliders? Sure, why not? We have time. We have plenty of time. Diablo Devils. We will take out the Western Brotherhood of Steel. So my goal is to use robots for the main part here. And then... Oh, are you guys not... Go ahead and train. Go ahead and train, guys. It's really... Okay. Take these guys out. Use robots. Get some pretty heavy-duty robots, and then probably switch over to APCs, maybe? Maybe APCs with tanks. Maybe. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Uh, but we have the Emperor, and let's go crush the Hubologists. The so-called Hubologists have, for over a century, been a thorn in our side frequently abducting our young for their strange rituals and sitting on technological marvels that they have no idea how to use. They must be dealt with. And we also get a core on Concord, which is 40,000 people. That's really nice. And then we can get time to... A core Antioch, which would be very nice to expand. Chinese influence. And also, I'm not sponsored by the CCP or the Communist Party of China, even though that'd be kind of cool, but I'm not. Alright. 80% stability, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Ah, more than a political power day. Nice. Our pride, which helps us with guns. We just need more robotos. Guns are fine. Spec Ops equipment's fine. Support equipment's fine. Oh, almost six a week. That's not too bad. Almost one a day. Roughly one a day. That isn't too bad. I kind of like that. Triremes. Go ahead and, you know, do that first. Seed selections. Very good. Very good. Support companies. Eh, it's a little a little bit ahead of time, but, you know, we got five research slots. That's okay. Anything else I can do here? Seed civilian arms. No, we good. We good. Ruthless drills. Probably not. Probably not. Ooh, look at all this. We're getting more XP, or that's... That's muy bueno. Not sure how else to put it. That's just muy bueno. We're probably going to need a general. Only cost three. Li Peng. More defense. More supply consumption. But not too bad. Strong back. Out of supply. Power ar mm, Power armor. So we are going to use special forces for quite a while. But in time, I would really like to use power armor. Because if we're going to be advanced, we might as well use power armor, right? 
We might as well. Cool. Crush the hubologists. Ah, oh, gliders. Nice. Well, we're we are going. We are going to quickly get fighters. One of these two. Actually, you already have ground. Yeah, you could. Oh, that's a lot of ground attack. You guys have. You have almost exact same amount of ground attack. Holy crotarinos. That's. That's kind of wild. Naval stuff. Vehicles. Yeah, vehicles would be nice. We can kind of wait. Let's get some. Maybe let's get some crowd gear. If we get enough factories, I might actually invest in making enforcers for resistance instead of using militia. I usually almost always use militia, especially early game, but. See what happens. Ah, good. Now, I do want to do that. I'm not sure how long it's going to take us, but we might as well get the war goal for the vagrants, too. So called tanker vagrants of San Rafael have nothing more than typical criminals that must be dealt with swiftly if we are to maintain our territorial integrity. Which, no, we don't have the robots here with us, but we should still do okay, regardless. If we do this and kind of muster our way around, but before we do that, let's grab a general. Liang Wu. You would have minus 10% leader experience gain. You would. You would, Liang. Mr. Wu. Hmm, so be it. That's so good to get. Cool, let's go to war. And you're gonna come here, and then... Maybe, hopefully not get cut off? Maybe? Maybe not? You guys go that way, go there, go there. Cut these guys off, you guys can go that way. Maybe encircle some guys, maybe, maybe not. It doesn't look like they have that many divisions, which is good to see. Ah, just in time for us to do asymmetric warfare. And foraging. Hey, look! An encirclement! Oh, crud, that sucks. If that's the case, that's okay. That's totally, totally okay. You guys are holding. You guys are trying to attack. You guys are actually winning down here. Wow, there's three divisions down here. Your goal is to get down here so we can get rid of the port. Ah, oh, followers of the apocalypse. Uh, I hate these guys so much. But whatever. Alright, so since you're not doing anything, just come to Antioch. If you take Concord, that's all you really need to take them out, so... Oh, so close. So close. Go ahead and push them out. Special forces will do fine. Get encircled. Whatever, it doesn't matter. They're gone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And or occupy territories, caravan guards. We're going to go with militia for now. And then choose pacification. We must pacify the hubologists. And since we're going to get a core on Concord, I'm just going to go ahead and do Spartac outposts. That'd be fine. Very nice. San Rafael, you are next. We'll probably go here and do that. And I might try a naval invasion using the Emperor's Guards. You guys go from here to right there, maybe. And then... Perhaps we shall go from here to... Now we'll go... We'll try to attack San Rafael by itself. We we'll try something like that. Cool! So we already took out our first nation. And we have robots. Awesome. Delightful. Actually, since we're here, let's go ahead and lower this. Too well equipped army. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good, I'd say. Pretty good. You know what? I'm going to try to bait the enemy to attacking me here. You know what? What if we get, we let them over across the river and then navally invade from behind them? We'll try something like that. Because why not? We need 9 political power, which is fine. And we have it. Cool. Mao. Mao. Liu. Cool, less speed, that's alright. Just don't be... Just be tanky. It's a lot of request. Uh, strong back. We'll go with... Rooted. Get more entrenchment. That seems pretty good for this. Cool. And we should be able to go to war very, very soon. How many ships do these guys have? Uh, 35 divisions, no ships. So, basically, you guys... Stop training. Go home. Do some naval invasion support right here. Uh, yes, that's fine. Just gonna do that. And you guys can repair. We got a little bit, a little bit of time before they have to do anything really. We do have more guns, which is kind of nice. Submarine defense force. So we need a little bit more of a buff there, my friend. How many more guns do we have or need? Not bad. Oh, we're out of army XP, so it doesn't even really matter. So let them across. We'll see what happens. We always have our infantry or robots that they won't be able to pierce. So that's not too bad. Hmm, Central forces. We'll see what happens. You might as well do that. Nice. I want them over here because I don't know how many divisions they have. How much longer must we wait? Ooh. Yeah, give them some scrap. Just be nice to them. No matter how much we probably don't like them. 
whatever. A week. We have a week. And they're lowering my war support. God dang it. Ah, the followers are... What the heck? Son? Um, what? Uh, I was not expecting this. Crowd? Alright, well, whatever. I guess we're in an early war against the Brotherhood of Steel. As long as they don't land, you know, where we are at. I guess we'll be okay, but... Just in case, I'm put the robot right there. We should do okay, though. Ah, there we go. Disperse the Vagrants and incorporate Concord. With the Habal just de long defeated, it is time for us to incorporate the Wastelanders of Concord into our domain. Get a core and an armor arms workshop. And immediately go to war with these guys. Let them come across. And then I'm going to enable... There you go. And... Oh. Well, Shnikes. If that's the case... It looks like we cannot navally invade because these guys have chosen for us not to. I would recommend that you don't do this and you just kind of scurry back home. And it looks like I'm losing ships because the Brotherhood is a big meanie. Was not expecting that. Was not at all. But that's okay. These guys will fall soon enough. Hopefully. You guys looking okay? And we'll do that... They got three divisions there. That's kind of that's kind of a bit much, but we'll see what happens. Can they pierce my armor? No, they cannot. Go, go. How many? Uh, uh, they probably have thirty there, maybe. I don't know. At max, you know, give these guys an extreme amount of force so that you can attack them very, very well. Hopefully, the Brotherhood does not land yet. I really want to take out San Rafael first and get a core on it. That's really nice. Mongrels are very good. Go ahead and grab some dynamite too. Push them over. Followers establish themselves so they don't they stop lowering my weekly war support. We're going to ooh, war prop. Oh yeah. War prop again is gonna be very nice to get. Pick it. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, get over there as fast as possible. So that we can get over and break over their little waterway here. If we can do that, then they're pretty much dead. And then we can really just focus on these guys. Which is not very fun. What? If you want to go to war with me, go kill the Diablo Devils, my friends. Huh. I was really not expecting that whatsoever. Hey, we've got a battle cruiser now. It's kind of nice. If that's the case. You guys are going to come down to here, probably. I really need more longboat holes. And we have almost it. Work up our workspaces. We can grab some of that. Oh, boy. That's going to take forever to do, to get over there. Oh, terrible. Oh, my goodness. Come on, guys. You got this. You can push them out. I know you can. If not, that's totally okay as well. We have time to take them out. Okay, how much manpower do they have? Hmm, that's still a pretty good amount. That's still pretty good. Three to five divisions. If not, then I have a, I have a plan. We could do Mandate from Heaven, but we are going to get some fighters. So, rebuilding the Shi Guard. The Shi Guard has acted as a de facto security forces for San Francisco, however, though. In recent years, it's also entered and began to enter a state of decline with its soldiers numbering only a mere thousand soldiers. If we're to ensure our survival, we must bring the Shi Guard out of decline and raise it to prominence once again. I was really not expecting us to be trying to go to war at the same time as the Brotherhood of Steel wants to go to war with us. Brotherhood of Steel, Western Brotherhood, same thing, basically. Ah, oh, we might win, we might not. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to let them continue doing this. We'll see what happens. Maybe they'll win, maybe they won't. Actually, who's leading the charge? Oh, the submarine. Let, let the special forces do it. Yeah. Cult of Roswell. Good. They yeah, definitely lead with these guys. These guys, they're actually thicker. And they have recon and anti-tank already. So, that is probably the more bueno option. Ah, look. Another robot. For now, I'm going to use my robots to guard ports. That's the only port we have, besides this one. Nice. And we should be able to win with our special forces. Should is the correct word. And how many guys are you trying to fight at once? That's a lot of guys, man. Focus on consumer technology, more weekly support, support, yes. And we'll get some more of this, too. It's always good to use, always good to get. Soon enough. If we lose a couple more guys. Oh, yeah, so we also got a core on this. Beautiful. Straight up beautiful. Now, I could use robots. I don't think they have a... Do they have a debuff? 
They do have a debuff of, of, of amphibious invasions, which is not bueno. These guys, though, do have a debuff of just movement, not attack. Hmm. How strong are these guys? Uh, they, don't, they don't have a lot of wars, but they got quite a few divisions, so we have to wait. We'll probably have to go to war with the Diablo Devils first, and then focus on killing off the Brotherhood. That's probably the, the way to do it. Wow. Forging, very nice. Let us grab improved obstructions. More soft attack, more max entrenchment. Oh, they've chosen boldly. So how do we revive the She-Guard? The She-Guard has acted as a de facto security team, of course, for San Francisco. I've already kind of read this. If you would like to read this, go right ahead. So how are we going to ensure our survival as a She? Do we invest in arms production? Train more soldiers, which ooh, that looks pretty good. Purchase additional advanced technology. We get... I like that. I really like that, but... That's a lot of arms workshops, which we probably use. Or we get more manpower. Manpower is temporary, but... Hmm. Hmm. Right now, we are on she inclusion, which gives us 5%. We can probably eventually change it to something else. I don't know. This is a tough decision. Arms manufacturers. I'm going to go with manpower, just because we can. Cool. Technological progress. Re building pre-war facilities, or recover vertebrate schematics. I'm probably going to make a beeline down for Xi'an 85 attack planes. So, the Chosen One successfully delivered Enclave vertebrate schematics to the Imperial Palace before shortly the destruction of the oil rig took place. However, these schematics were highly corrupted and damaged upon arrival and have for decades been gaining dust. However, our recent rediscoveries have made it apparent that we can successfully unlock the secrets to the vertebrates. Yes. Very good. Very good. Dynamite will come in handy quite a bit. Oh, basic tools as well. If we can grab some of this, that'd be nice. We can probably grab some of this stuff as well. Do we have any other engineering? Yeah, we'll do that. It's almost like an endless loose loop of me just trying to attack, attack, attack. Do you have anything for us, Liang? We should be able to smash him eventually, so. You might as well do that first for now. Oh, yeah, let's do that too. Nice. Do we have any need of resources? Yeah, eventually we will. How many men have we lost? 160 versus 190, 200, not too bad. Tribal unification. They're slowly running out of manpower, which is good. Vault City declared one Cyclops tribes. And they declared war on me, but they're doing nothing. Quite sad, as some people might say. Maybe could I go fight me? And how about you bring your big guns against us? 92, not bad. Come on, you guys got this. Some of our guys are slowly getting tired out, and that's okay. That's okay. Maybe I should have went with more factories. I'm thinking I should have went with more factories now. I love manpower so much, but... Hmm. Oh, well. It is what it is, my friends. I keep building more robots, though. Robots. Nice things. Let's see. Factory-wise, we got five. Not great, but not bad. We will get more factories as time goes on, though. That's it. This guy. He's got to be learning quite a bit. Now, like I said, I wanted to navally invade, but... Oh, I might have to prepare some sort of defense. Ooh. Yeah. Um, guys, could you hurry up? That would be great if you could. Yeah, I'm going to do it like this. Just because we are starting to run out of time. Hmm. They have quite a few more divisions now. Which isn't good for us. But hey, another light robot. Multi-purpose equipment. Good. We can do some of that. Uh, devils, please hold on for as long as you can. That would be uh, good for everyone. You guys stop attacking nearly as much. Recover vertebrate schematics. Ooh, try playing attacker. So, within the San Francisco airport, lay dozens of pre-war fighters and bombers that were ready to scramble at a minute's notice. Yes. Alright, go ahead and try to attack. You guys hold for now. Let these guys in here first. Man, that this really sucks. I was not planning on this in the first episode. You know what? Hmm. Hmm, hmm. I've got an idea. You guys hold. We've lost too many guys. This is... This is... Hmm. That wasn't very cool. I'm going to destroy the Brotherhood appropriately. So, what we're going to do is this. You guys are going to form a line right here. And you guys... Now nah, I'm going to use my special forces. I'm going to form a line right here. All of you, don't attack anymore. You're okay. Abandon the post. Because i got to make sure that we're going to be okay when the Brotherhood shows up. Now, I want them to come over... 
because I'm going to encircle these guys and destroy them like this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is that all you got? You pieces of garbage? You're going to attack, and you're going to kill them off. We're going to encircle these four divisions right here. You're going to help support the attack. Healing powder, very nice. Uh, we can do that. I'm going to actually go ahead and train Ooh, riders. Very nice. There you go. That should be good. That should be very good. Slow down their approach, perhaps. Yeah. You definitely need to hurry up this attack because we can destroy these four divisions. Come on. Come on. Because I have to prepare for that. Now, I don't think the, the Brotherhood really has that many divisions with power armor yet. But it's still good to do. Good, Still good to know. Come on. Come on. I need I need this finished. Like, now. Come on. Come on. You got this. We're almost there. We're almost there. Stop letting them throw in more divisions. Oh, we did it. it Kill them off. Kill these guys off. Smoke signals. Very good. Next up. Description. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, I still have five divisions. I will have to hold off against those guys over there. I doubt you can do anything right there. Yeah, I doubt it. So, that's okay. For now, just gonna hold right there. Ah, uh, you could help support the attack, I suppose. That'd probably be a good idea. Hey, another robot. So, we just killed off over a thousand of these guys. They still have five guys right there. So, what I'm gonna do is leave a token task force over here, like this, and prepare for the war against those big bad boys. I got, not really sure how else to pronounce it, but just big old bad boys. And Wang Wei, interesting, interesting. Let's see, organization also moving, robots. Oh, just do Nerd Rage, because we can. You guys, stay right there. Good. And now everyone else is going to form a front line this way. If they naval invade me, so be it, whatever. As long as they don't take, kill me off. I'm going to do it like this, so that the Diablo Devils don't think I am trying to put an army next to them. Good, and that's exactly what I want to see. I want to bait them into attacking me. Ah. <sighs> This is definitely not what I expected in the first episode here. Woo! Flexible designs. Very nice, very nice. Anything else here? 62. Get some more output. We could use more output right now. You could use more factories. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to need some of this. So, unfortunately, we're going to do that. Or fortunately, or unfortunately. You're going to get a lot of experience, Wang. Very nice. And that power armor is going to be really difficult thing to take out. Hmm. What can we do here? Economic advisors. Economy and trade laws. That's not bad. Hmm. Nothing really interesting there. Ah, yes. Stability. Political power. The correct choice for me. And rebuild the airport. Let's get some... Let's study pre-war aerial doctrine. During the Sino-American War, air combat proved a great deciding factor in warfare, and thankfully there are droves of pre-war aerial doctrines on board the Xi Emperor. Let them come in, let them think that they, will, that they will do well. Oh, good. You guys are prepared and ready to go. Actually, we have another robot. Lo robots lead the way. Do we have air bases? Ah, right here. Uh, you know what, just do all of them. There you go. You know what, we'll even use gliders if we want. Pop, pop, pop. Very good. Oh, good. They're still baited into attacking me. We have some decode signals. And... Encrypted. So what are you going to do? Hmm, huh, boys? What you going to do to me? No, you got some power armor there. They actually have a lot more power armor than I thought. Cool, let's let our guys get a little more organized. You guys can help maybe support the attack or something. Ah, uh, they're very disorganized, which is nice to see. Can you pierce me? No. Well, actually, you can, kind of, yeah, pierce me. That's kind of okay, though. They, you guys are doing well up there. No worries. And now we're going to hold completely and end our episode here. This definitely did not work out the way I wanted it to do, but I hope you enjoyed today's first episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and don't forget, vote in my poll on my Discord server to see which campaign I will play at the beginning of June... 2020. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.